Hamtech, welcome back to my drone learning videos. And today we are going to install the new update for the Mini 4 Pro version 1.15. So we're going to press and hold the Mini 4. That's coming on. We've already turned on the remote control. We've had this message already asking us to update. And the exciting part about this update is that it's all about the new tracking features or should we say auto tracking? But let's read what it says. What's new? Add support for the DJI 3S, which is fantastic by the way. Compatible with DJI RC N3, DJI RC N2, and the DJI RC2 remote controllers. Add support for downloading files in background when using quick transfer, that's interesting. So we're gonna update that, and we're so lucky that they have decided to include this update in the Mini 4 Pro, it's, it shows that, you know, the Mini 4 Pro and the new 3, 3S, th sorry, the new DJI Air 3S, they're like brothers and sisters or brother and sister. So let's click install now, just tap that. We get the DJI white screen to start with. And at the end of this, I'll show you how to update both of these using your computer. And it always makes, you know, makes sense to fully charge both your items before doing this. There it goes, installing data complete. And we're now here, let's connect. Actually, before I do, I'm gonna show you that if it, if, if it doesn't install, you can go to profile, device management, choose your device, and it's definitely not the Neo. Actually, go device, don't go do device management, go to, settings then check for firmware update new firmware available let's just do it and download dji so there's a firmware update here as well even though we've just done that it's still saying there's firmware so that's that was well worth checking wasn't it and it basically says added support for dji air 3s fix some known issues and i've got the dji Air 3S as well, so that's going to be fun testing that, which is basically the the big version of this, but the the lens on that thing is like one inch in size. It is taking a while, so we'll we'll unpack this while we're waiting. Because we're gonna we want to just send it up and see the new tracking features. So they're basically doing away with the fact that you have to tap your finger on the screen and draw around items and also it automatically now will just fly up and just detect items for you it's quite ai and it doesn't detect one thing it detects all kinds of things houses cars people and then you can just tap on the one you like and you can still use it within points of interest and spotlight and it's in real time the old feature was called subject tracking so the version that's showing on here is version 04.01 quite a big update look at it it's really taking time right looks like we're there now looks fine says I'm up to date then we'll go back back and then I'm going to quickly show you how to do this via the PC and then we'll give it a little flop Go to the link DJI Assistant 2 that I will provide and you'll get this window open here and then when you plug your USB cable into the drone that is on or the remote control, so we'll do the drone first, it will detect it and the USB will move forward, tell you it's connected to the Pro, click that and then it will tell you if it needs updating, you'll get a list. And it says here, we've got the latest version, that's excellent, but otherwise it will update it. Then you just get to do exactly the same thing, unplug it, plug it into your remote control, just here. See it beep. It detects it, click to update. And if there is an update, you could even roll back. So it says there, current. So that's, that's, that's how you do it using the PC, very easy. Okay, I'll just double check the firmware's up to date. And if you look here, there's a new like focus 
Right, we're all connected. And if you look here, there's a new symbol that we're going to select once we get flying. Okay, we're out here. Guess what? It's going to rain, but we're still just going to take it up quickly. So we're pulling these two together. And we'll get the warning and then we'll check. We've got about, I don't know, how many satellites there? 10 at the moment. We're not going to go high. And then, you see Mazzy's here, my dog. She doesn't care about drones, not even slightly. So we tap there and, oh yeah, we need to get up a bit. Just going to go up. I haven't flown this for <laughs> several weeks, actually. I would say, so just go up a bit higher, turn it round. Hoping that with the wind, okay-ish. So you tap the focus there. And then see the way you can get it, tell it to try it, you just tap it. It's a bit windy, but I have told it to track me and it is tracking me. And you've got, you can see there, point of interest, spotlight and auto track. It's pretty cool, isn't it? It's a lot easier than dragging your finger and to turn, disable it, you just tap on that, it goes off. Let's enable it again. So off. Then on, tap, it's got me, and if I walk away, if you keep an eye on the drone, it should come towards me. Wave for now. Wave to the drone. 7-3, learning all the time.